Um, and so what, you know, what really concerns me here is that people, again, are believing that this is, you know, Trump is poised to fight uh, the deep state in his second term, but why is he inviting these people in uh, as donors? And not only that, considering people like Jamie Dimon of J.P. Morgan, who helped fleece Americans' wealth during the 2008 financial crisis uh, and st have him be Treasury Secretary, you know, the fact that he would even consider that is, is frankly very disturbing. And, uh, you know, I, I think, again, uh, part of it goes back to efforts to sort of define the deep state as a Democrat-only entity. But, again, the deep state refers to, at least in my opinion, uh, the unelected officials that serve between administrations in the government um, and, you know, sort of like the unelected bureaucracy. And, right. you know, as we've seen, you know, throughout American history, uh, they run it, it, every administration, whether it's Democrat or Republican. And in the case of Trump, you know, he had a first term. We can see what his policy record was. Did he stand up to the deep state on things like COVID or mass shootings or red flag laws and things like that? And I think people should go back and consider uh, the policies and not get so wrapped up in the momentum, perhaps, of political campaigns, because political campaigns are sales pitches. But as we've seen throughout American history, uh, presidents do not keep their uh, campaign promises. If they do, they keep very few. Um, and, uh, you know, unfortunately, the stakes are very high in this country. I don't think people can really continue to vote for the lesser of two evils indefinitely when they ultimately um, are beholden to the same system uh, that is building this bipartisan surveillance state. And what uh, especially concerns me, too, is that some of Trump's rhetoric on the campaign trail this time around is him calling for things like a biometric uh, U.S. Uh, entry exit system. Uh, so you'll have to scan your face to either cross the border or fly into an airport or travel internationally. And this is actually something that comes from the UN Sustainable Development Goals or Agenda 2030. And that's why it's being rolled out um, across the world in South America, the EU, the UK uh, between this year and next year. Um, so why is he promoting that? Why are campaign lawyers of his promoting the idea of using biometric digital ID uh, to vote? Why can't we use physical IDs? Um, to vote, you know, do we really need to uh, give in to the digital agenda to save, uh, to to resolve these problems in the United States? Um, you know, I don't really think that's that's true, and I I, I think you know again this speaks to the influence of big tech on our politics. Uh, keep in mind also that you know one of the main big tech barons behind Biden is Eric Schmidt, and Eric Schmidt sh serves on the steering committee of Bilderberg alongside Peter Thiel, and Bilderberg is a closed door globalist meeting. Uh, where, you know, people like the, the chairman of the World Economic Forum and all of these people come together to chart out essentially the course of global events over the following year. You have Peter Thiel, a Republican donor, and Eric Schmidt, a Democrat donor, all on the steering committee. And uh, according to a 2019 Newsweek article, uh, they're the most influential people there, Thiel and Schmidt. 